Hi there, it's Jeff Harrison at MacroMonster.com. I want to talk today about rasterizing all of your artwork and if you choose to do that, some considerations that you need to think about. One of the popular things that people uh, do is uh, convert stuff like this to a single bitmap to send it off for printing and that will be reliable but there are some considerations because if you do that at certain resolutions like 300 some of the fine text such as you know seven or eight point text over here would become a little bit rough compared to what you could be if you convert to something more like 600 dpi so let's show you the difference here so here's a fictional card i just put together for this example I'm just going to drag a copy down and make two copies there. So what I'm going to do here is convert 1 to 300 like this. Go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, 300, CMYK, everything's fine. And uh, something like that. Go over here, convert this one to a bitmap, and we'll change this one to 600. Alright, so let's zoom in on this and see what we have. Okay, so we've got some white fringing there too. We'll deal with that in a moment. I'll explain why that's happening. But what I would really want to draw your attention to is some of the finer text on the business cards. You can see how the curve integrity is a little bit rough there at 300 dots per inch. If we zoom in on the 600 dpi example, it's going to be a lot better than uh, 300. Basically, it's four times the data flying around not not twice but four times okay so but what we're gonna have here is a bit of a problem because um, this black text is still gonna knock out the uh, colors underneath so if the black plates a little bit off you're gonna start to see even more white fringing than you're seeing right now so what I wanted to show you next is if I was to make a copy over here and overprint this black text let's see what that looks like and right click on it, choose overprint fill and then make sure under um, the view menu simulate overprints is checked, that's important Okay. now if we convert this to 300 and again I would always convert stuff like this to 600 minimum uh, the other thing we can do is these little trim lines on the outsides, let's, let's overprint those as well and overprint outline on those guys there select everything, let's convert this to 300 just for this quick example. Actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and convert it to 600 because that's what I would suggest anyway at all times. Um, this always overprint black, we won't worry about that right now. Let's just zoom in on this, see what we have. See all that white fringing is all gone and if we were, the reason that's important, even when we're way zoomed in on here, the curve integrity isn't too bad. Most devices are going to output at about 2400 dpi anyway, so um, it won't take that much longer to rip this file versus the 300 dpi version. Okay. All right. So the reason we want to do this is, I'm just going to delete all of those for a moment. Send that to the middle of the page. If we look at the actual separations on something like this, I'm just going to choose this for now color, print separations, if we do a print preview and we zoom in on what we're looking at here what I want to draw your attention to is this area right in here that black text even if the registration is off just a little bit it won't matter because underneath it's going to be a nice um, consistent color there on all of the plates go to magenta same thing yellow it's going to be looks like almost 100 percent yellow probably in that area and then we just have black laid over on top. So some of this may not make a lot of sense unless you get into the actual printing business and you see how stuff comes off uh, off the printing devices or how uh, a laser is actually laying this stuff down. If you're going to convert stuff all to one, uh, some, little, some considerations to think about to get some better results and better quality on your, your final job. Alright, so good luck with that and hopefully uh, you get some decent results for your project. I guess the final thing I'd want to say here is that anytime you can avoid doing that, it's always going to give you the best results. All right, so if you can keep text as text, or vectors at least, you can always select stuff like that, convert it to curves, pressing Control Q on it, something like that. Um, all of your, you know, vector shapes. And that way, um, you're going to get the best possible resolution on your output file. You know, you're going to get 2400 dpi curve resolution on this text or any of your vector shapes in your file. But we'll go for that whenever you can, uh, as opposed to just simply flattening. All right, take care.